Hi guys, welcome back to Simplistic Mystic. As you can see, I'm getting my setup together. I moved again, if you haven't watched my update videos. So, all right, it's gonna be a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with you. Take what fits, leave the rest. Any characters in the story can always be reversed, vice versa. All right, what do we got going on with the collective for today? What's going on? Okay, that fell out weird and that wolf went. All right. So, we got the King of Wands, or sorry, the Knight of Wands and the Queen of Swords. So we got somebody that's feeling passionate, either someone that's feeling passionate and someone that's feeling a little more cold and feisty, or this could be someone that's kind of going back and forth between possibly two emotions. The way it flipped out like that, it, it definitely feels like there's some sort of separation here. It's like, with, in terms of like, it's either two different people or this is two different emotions that one person is feeling. So I'm going to put those over there because that was very strange how those fell out. Tower was just on the bottom of the deck. Nine of its cups. Nine of swords. A lot of things going on here. Quick movement, though. Two cards about quick movement. Something may be coming in very quickly. Um, that may... Some sort of wish that you want to... So, um, that may be the hesitation of, like... The passion versus the, you know, swords up kind of thing. It's like, why is this coming so quickly? Hold on. Or it's like... I don't know, like two different stories. It's either something's coming in very quickly towards someone and it's someone's kind of going back and forth between like, okay, this is good. I'm passionate about whatever this is. I wanted this. Or versus like the other time they're like guarded up, right? When they're short. Or this is someone that's in their Knight of Swords passionate, quick moving energy. Because we have that quick moving thing here twice. And then maybe they're coming at someone that tends to be more of a queen of swords, a little bit more guarded, a little bit more cold. Okay. Oh. I have to sneeze. There's so much dust flying around from moving. It's like, oh. I hate it. I've been sneezing for weeks. Sorry, I know sniffing on a video is super attractive. All right. Um. If any of you guys um, watch uh, 90 Day Fiance, <laughs> one of the girls had this deck on there. I think it was this deck. And uh, <laughs> I bought it. I literally looked it up because I was like, what is this? I'm sorry. I keep, I'm keep. i about to sneeze and I hate sneezing, so I keep sniffing. All right. Lightning. Power. Now... I was just doing a couple TikTok videos and it, and it kind of seemed like the same thing. It seemed like something kind of coming out of nowhere. Something coming quickly. I forget exactly. Why are these all bent? I like never even use these. Um, it just it does. It's just something. There's something happening quickly, unexpectedly. And it's like some people are going to have their guard up over it. But it's a wish fulfilled. It's something you, something you wanted. Shaman of Ancient Healing Wisdom. I don't read that. The deep, compassionate eyes of this Native American shaman portrays the wisdom of one who has seen and who knows. He has witnessed visions, spirits, suffering, and joy, and knows that everything that exists has spirits intentionally behind it. Able to travel beyond the veil of ordinary rea reality, the shaman's primary assignment is to discern and maintain the balance between what his human community takes from the natural world and what it takes back. When this relationship is out of balance, the shaman must do whatever is necessary to restore it. Balance equals healing. The shaman lives his life in ceremony and treats everything with revenge. What? Rever reverence? 
including the great mystery of death and even the greater mystery of life. He works with his spirit helpers, including his ancestral spirits, to help him in his service to his people and to Earth Mother. Blah, 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 blah. This is so long. Sorry, I know I keep sniffing. Not that I can hear anyone say I feel like I can hear people typing. Stop sniffing in the video. I'm going to sneeze then. Let's just wait until I sneeze. So bad. It's like, it's like a tick too. It's like I sneeze. Like I have like a, I have a sniffing tick, and then sometimes I sniff in so much that I just sneeze even more. It's just like, it's a vicious cycle. Winter solstice reflection. I'm sorry. I can't even focus right now. I don't even want to take these. Alright. This lightning card. This feels like... The, this may be something that is kind of like... Orchestrated by the universe. Or maybe something that is... Like kind of been written for a long time in a way. Like it's like... It seems sudden to you. But... It's actually something that's been planned. Because it's like... It's something that you wanted. It's like something that was already planned, but to you it feels so shocking. But it's actually not. It's actually meant to happen in that time frame and in this order or whatever. dropping cards on the floor always dropping cards oh god help me face your fears so maybe let go of the sword take your guard down a little bit or maybe maybe you're scared to go towards something that you wanted maybe that's it Maybe you're a little bit guarded to go full force into a dream. It could be something like that as well. It's like maybe you get an opportunity to do something, but you're guarded on whether or not you're like, should I should I do this? I really, I'm really passionate about it. I want to just go head first into this. This could be a job or love or whatever it is. Or, you know, the realistic side of you is like, I want to be guarded. So this other card said releasing blocks. So facing your fears and releasing blocks around whatever this thing is that's coming in quickly. All right, it's time for my love oracle cards. I need a tissue. Here I am, gonna go get a tissue and not edit this video like I did last time. I know, this is so professional and I'm wearing such a professional outfit. But you know what? That's life. All right. These are my love oracle cards, if you don't already know. They're available on Amazon and Etsy and my website. Links are below, as always. All right. Oh. All right. What? Now my nose is itchy, which is tuition. Okay. What is this lightning thing? What is this thing that's happening that's so, like, out of nowhere? finances yeah i was feeling like this was not love per se because there's really no love cards here um unexpected on the bottom of the deck <laughs> this feels like it could be something financial and i'm not feeling bad right it might be scary it might be something that you're nervous to do nervous to take a new job or nervous to start a business or whatever it may be it doesn't have to be financial but that did come out here so it may be something like that or maybe it could have something to do with, like, buying a home or something like that. Like, maybe you're scared to take that step, but you got, a, you know, a really good opportunity to buy a house. Maybe the right, perfect house came on the market or something like that. Um, but again, with the unexpected thing, it's like... Storm warning. 
it's gonna come out of nowhere <laughs> like an opportunity you may get a windfall of money honestly somehow like the storm warning i mean it can be bad right but um with this it just feels like i mean it's a whirlwind too like it's like it's gonna stir the pot like if you're changing a job or something like you know in a way that's kind of a storm um or maybe other people might not approve whatever this is you're doing so it could have caused a storm in that way but with the rest of these cards on the table with this coming out it feels like it's just something some opportunity is coming out of nowhere family something could be having a baby or something like that um, or it could affect your family somehow but maybe but maybe that's it maybe it's life-changing it's a life-changing amount of money for your family or job opportunity or something like that maybe it's something you have to move for and it's scary but it you know will be super helpful to you or something like that um let's see all right. What else can we do here? Uh, these cards are... I don't know how to say that. This person's on Etsy. Anyways. Um, let's see what we got going on here. Couple more cards. Apology. This could be an apology from someone. But it also this says confession. Like it could just be like a, like I said, a job opportunity. Like someone coming forward with something. Maybe it's something you didn't expect because it says revenge body. Looking at your best, focusing on yourself. Like, this is something for you. But it's like it could be a quote of it, like Maybe a job that previously denied you or something like that. And it's like, you know, look more appealing somehow. I don't know. I mean, this could be someone coming back because they see you doing well, right? Vacation. New adventure. Cut through emotional, mental clarity, secrets come to light, breakthrough. This is some love offer. This is something new and exciting happening in your life. What's the hesitation? It's not really a hesitation. There's just like two different energies surrounding it. Why is there mixed? Why? Okay, let's see. Why is there mixed emotions regarding this? Freedom, wanting you to be free, not ready for a commitment, independent, happy, like single. So it could be just about the change, or maybe you feel like it will hinder your freedom in some capacity, or maybe, I don't know, whatever it is. Maybe it's something about it you're a little nervous to commit to, right? So that's all. It's basically not ready for commitment. commitment. That could be for anything. Not ready to commit, commit to a new job. Or, but again, this just feels like a small hesitation. Oh my god, that is hysterical. This says mixed feelings on the bottom of the deck. That's what I was saying. In the surprise of conflicting feelings, unsure of this relationship or opportunity or whatever. You're unsure if you want to do this. But I definitely think you should do this. It feels positive. It doesn't feel negative at all. Right? Okay. There's a fear. There's definitely a fear regarding it, though. There's a guard up regarding it. Tell me more about what this is. Waiting. Holding on to hope. Not taking action. Stand still delay. There's something you've been waiting for. And it comes out of nowhere. Could be a pregnancy. This says pregnancy. Um, giving birth to something. Building a family. Family did come out. So it could be that. It could be that scary. You found out you're pregnant. Or you decide to um, go through in vitro fertilization. Or whatever. That's how I was created. Uh... <laughs> If you want to know that. Um, whatever. Something like that. Something that's kind of big. Some big and life-changing. But again, I'm not really feeling in love vibes here. It could be, but not really feeling that heavily here. 
uh, it feels like either something to do with family, something to do with finances or home or some, something like that. Some sort of life thing like that. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do two of these and then we're done. I listen to the whispers inside my heart. So follow your heart in this situation. Maybe your head is telling you like, no, this is scary. Don't do this. But do whatever your heart is telling you to do here. I know my worth. I do not settle for less. So you know what you're worth. You know what you deserve. But this feels like something you deserve. So don't reject it. Okay. Don't reject it. What are the, is it the imposter syndrome? Don't reject it because you feel like you're not worthy of it or something like that. Or it's too good for you. It's like, nah, this is, this is what you deserve. So anyways, hopefully this was helpful. If it was, give me a thumbs up on this video and subscribe to so be notified when I post future videos. Um, my Love Oracle deck, as always, like I said, is available on Amazon and Etsy and... My website, I have also lowered the price of this because I'm buying them in larger quantities. My goal was always to lower the price. They started out at $55 and I've gotten them down to $34. Well, I'm trying out the price of $34.99. I may possibly put it back. I'm just trying to, you know, see how it goes. Uh, so get it at that price while you can. Although I do do plenty of sales if you don't care. Um... And, uh, oh, my sage spray. I don't have the newest label right here with me. This was the old label. There's a new label. They're over there. I don't feel like getting up again. So, uh, that's also available on all the places I just said. Links are below. And, uh, if you want to follow me on the social medias, I have all of those. There's Facebook and instagram and tiktok and what else do the people use these days whatever whatever it is i probably have it anyways i will see you guys next time thank you for watching bye bye